Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This week we're gonna share with you our favorite bully stick hack. It's no secret that a tired dog is a happy dog. We are constantly looking for ways to keep our dogs busy and happy and give them lots of things to do throughout the day. Kokoro is a really, really big chewer. She loves long-lasting chews and treats. Natural edible chews that we really like to give, like bully sticks, can be really expensive. So finding ways to make them last longer is not only great for your dog's happiness, but also good for your wallet. All right, so let's talk about bully sticks. If you have a dog, you probably have come across bully sticks at a pet store before. These are a really great natural one ingredient chew. We really like giving our dogs treats that are not so highly processed. So bully sticks are always high on our list. We've actually made another video about the best long lasting chews that we like to use in the past. And you can watch that to see what other types of chews we like to give the dogs. Out of all the things we've tried, bully sticks have hands down been the one thing that they'll never say no to. If I lay out a bunch of treats for them to choose from, they will always grab the bully sticks. And I think it's probably because Bully sticks kind of smell really stinky. The dogs really like that kind of odor. We really love giving these to them as a way to clean their teeth. They're not as hard as some other chews like chameleon dog chews. That can cause a little bit more risk for fracturing of the teeth. The downside of bully sticks is that they can be really expensive from six to seven to eight dollars per stick. Pretty much you're giving your dog the equivalent of a meal that you could buy for yourself. And we give these to our dogs every other day on average, so that really adds up. This is really part of the reason why we've been looking for a way to make our bully sticks last longer. So let's get into the hack. Basically, we were looking for a toy that could wrap around the bully stick, but still give the dog access to what it looks and smells like, and doesn't prevent them from working on it totally. Dogs like to feel like they're actually doing work when they're chewing on something, so it's rewarding for them to actually be able to wear down the chew. We've actually tried this toy in the past that's made specifically to hold bully sticks, but the problem is that it doesn't really give the dog a really good access to work on the bully stick, and it can get really, really stuck in there, so much so that they can just give up and sort of just leave it there and lose interest. We actually found this toy, it's called the Holy Bone from JW Pets. They make a lot of rubber based toys. We found that the small size of this is really perfect for holding your average five to six inch bully stick. All you have to do is take the bully stick, thread it through the holes of the toy, and basically the JW Pet Toy becomes a full casing and holder for the bully stick. We really, really love this method because the dogs can still see and smell the bully stick. The toy takes it from a level one difficulty to maybe level five difficulty. So they have to think a little bit harder and work a little bit harder to actually get to the bully stick. Sometimes they're able to pull it out. It kind of just depends on how thick the bully stick is and how you position it in there. But we found that this method really extends the life of our bully sticks and keeps the dogs busy for up to an hour. As you can see, Kokoro and Chibi go absolutely crazy for these bully sticks and these toys. Chibi is a much stronger chewer and she's able to get the bully sticks out much quicker than Kokoro is. I would say that Kokoro is probably like a 4 out of 10 in terms of strength and Chibi is maybe like a 6. Um, they are relatively small dogs, 20 pounds, so if you have a larger dog, it might be a little bit easier for them to work through the toy. Overall, we found that the quality of the toy is pretty good. We like to stock up on these toys because after the dogs have a few sessions of chewing, there is a possibility that the rubber gets ripped. Once the toy becomes ripped and doesn't really hold the bully stick anymore, it's not as useful. So in general, we like to have an ongoing stockpile of both bully sticks and these toys so we can continue to rotate through them and our dogs are always occupied. I've also seen bully stick value packs out there that basically sell bags of assortments of smaller chunks of bully sticks, probably kind of like the leftover pieces when they're making them. We were able to recently find a bag where the bully sticks are kind of curved almost, and these actually work almost better than the straight bully sticks because it makes it even harder for the dog to get out of the toy. There are a variety of ways that you can use this hack. You can also use it for other treats that your dog likes that's long and skinny in shape. So if they're not really into bully sticks, then you could switch it out for their favorite treat. Another great thing about using this hack is that it keeps the bully sticks stink sort of off of your rugs. My dogs always love chewing on some sort of rug or dog bed so they have traction to hold on to the chew. And oftentimes if they're on my white rug with a bully stick, as they're chewing on it and a lot of the stink kind of gets released, it can rub into the rug. So having something to hold the bully stick really helps with that. Another thing you might want to keep in mind is safety. I've heard that other dogs have had issues with choking on the last bits of bully sticks. Thankfully, this has never been a problem for Kokoro and Chibi, knock on wood. But just to be safe, you can always take the chew away when they work down to the last inch or so to avoid the risk of them swallowing it and choking on the last little bit of the bully stick. Basically, that's it. It's very, very simple. We just combined this awesome toy that we found from JW Pets 
with our dog's favorite edible chew, and it makes it last, instead of 15 minutes, closer to an hour. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that this is a helpful tip for anyone who's looking to make your bully sticks last a little bit longer and keep your dogs a little bit busier. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.